as the title of this video suggests, you're looking at a Linux system. Well, you're looking at a 2010 27-inch iMac that's running Linux as the operating system, and it's not running it through boot camp or anything. What I did was I formatted over my whole hard drive, I partitioned it, I put Mac on one side, and I put Linux on the other. So this is running straight Linux, not through anything. No virtual machines, this is actually Linux. And I tried Linux Mint at first. It wasn't quite working for me. Like I tried to click and select an edge loop and it wouldn't let me, no matter what I did. And I couldn't figure out why. There were some things that it just wouldn't let me do. Now, it was probably my fault and I tried to figure out what was wrong and I couldn't. So I figured I'd try Ubuntu next because well, they contribute to Blender's development fund, and I figured it would run well on Ubuntu. And you know what? It does. It runs pretty smooth. Now, there's a lot of verts in this, probably millions. So it is running a little choppy here. But until I get way, way up there, it doesn't start to slow down. I had to reinstall Blender once. It was when I believe it was when I was using the video editor. The video editor on Blender is a little buggy. Um, when I partitioned this particular Mac for Ubuntu, I gave it a smaller portion, so I really didn't want to install another video editing system, though. So I'm going to struggle through with Blender for the moment. But it's running fairly well, and all you have to do is there's an app store just like. On Mac, PC, Google Apps, you know, you just click on the Ubuntu Software Center, it comes up, hit the magnifying glass, type in Blender. Now, I believe this one is Blender. I think this is 8.2 or 8.3. I still have it installed on my machine. I don't really use it anymore. Probably take it off to save space. To remove it, all you do is you click Remove. Progress bar will appear. It disappears. You click, This turns into an Install button. You install it. Progress bar appears. There you go, you got Blender back. And I haven't really had any trouble since then. I haven't done any video editing since then. <laughs> but um, it hasn't been a problem so far. Blender is exactly the same as it is on Linux and Mac, and I would assume PC. So that's really nice. Everything is in the same place. I didn't have to relearn anything to use Blender on Linux. It works the same way. There are no problems using it. Cura is in the App Store. It works exactly the same. I've already sliced and 3D printed files with Linux Cura. Works flawlessly without a problem. I can't speak about the other slicers because I don't generally use them. Krita is uh, drawing and animation. I use it on my Mac. It works great on, on Linux, no problem. Everything is pretty much easy to use. Now, software that's not in the Ubuntu software store, however, is a different story. I tried to find a program for my scanner. Um, I didn't find one at first, so I went to Epson site to try to download something and install it. I couldn't figure it out, to be quite honest. I'll keep at it, and I'm sure eventually I will get it. I did find a software, um, an app, in the Ubuntu store that will do my run my scanner and it works great so there's no problem there there are little tiny differences with the operating system itself weird things like if I go into this I can't for some reason drag a file to the desktop it won't allow me to do that it also won't allow me to drag a file from the desktop to one of my external hard drives. I have to drag it from the desktop into a folder and then from the folder into the external drive. It's kind of weird. I don't understand why it won't let me do that. You can also do a move to and a copy to. So all you do is you hit that, then select your drive and hit select, you know, like all my drives are here. So I could select that and then it'll copy it into there. That's just kind of weird to me. It seems a little clunky, but it's not that big a deal. Ubuntu runs really great. 
the odd thing is my Mac, right? I to do this, I formatted over my drive and reinstalled the latest version of Mac OS that will go on my my iMac. Two weeks later, it's back to running like crap. And I can't really figure out why. I would get weird things like my modem would crash. However, on Linux, everything spins like a top. I have no problem accessing websites, opening programs, running files. Everything works perfectly. But on Mac OS, it doesn't work, which is really weird to me. And the, you know, little conspiracy theorist inside of me says, Apple is screwing up your computer, so you have to buy a new one. And I don't know how true that is. Uh, please do not platform bash in the comments. I just don't have any time for it. I will either ignore you or delete your comment if it's rude enough. I hate that crap, <clears throat> so please don't do it. If you have something intelligent to say, a discussion point that's relevant, please bring that up. I'm interested in hearing it, but don't just bash just to bash. It's, it's pointless. I, I have no time for it. But I have to say, I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this, and it works really well. And I'm really considering making my next machine, I might build a Linux box. I'll get myself an AMD processor, an NVIDIA video card, 32, maybe even 64 gigs of RAM. So I can make stuff without having my system slow down. So it'll work for me instead of me having to battle with it. Because when I get to the end of projects like this, it can get a little frustrating to move parts in place because the vert count is so freaking high. Um, it's just, it just gets a little frustrating um, and I would like to do away with that. So, uh, I'm really considering moving to Linux. Uh, if you have any questions about what it's like to run uh, Blender on Linux, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not a Linux pro yet. I have used Linux once before a few years back. I put it on an old Windows laptop but I was basically just using that as a word processor, so I really didn't get involved in the operating system. I installed LibreOffice or whatever it was, and I would just use that here, right here. Yeah, LibreOffice. And I would just use it as a word processor, so I didn't really get very involved in the operating system um, back then. So it's still kind of new for me. I'm still fumbling around a little bit, but I've managed to do pretty much everything I need to do. Um, one thing that does concern me a little bit is I have one of those color management attachments for the monitors, and I have an old Wacom uh, 12WX, and like I said, it's old, and I haven't been able to get that to work. So it's really weird because I have the same color desktop on both monitors, but it's a different color on the Wacom than it is on the, um, the main monitor, which is, which is annoying if I'm doing a drawing in Krita or something like that and I'm picking a color. I actually have to move the program up to the main monitor in order to pick my color because I'm not getting an accurate color reading on the Wacom. Now, that may have to do a lot with the fact that this Wacom is ancient and I should really replace that as well, but, uh, well, you know, that's another story. Um... <clears throat> so it's definitely interesting and uh, so far it's going pretty well the last few videos I've done on Linux I, I like I said I've sliced I've modeled I've created on Linux and it goes really really well I've had very few to no problems so it's worth checking out